Hi, good morning. Today, let's talk about the basics of liver specific contrast or Prima Vist. At the end of this talk, uh, hopefully, we will be able to answer the following. One, a hypervascular lesion will be blank in the portal venous space. Or two, a hypovascular lesion is supplied mainly by the portal vein. Therefore, it will be blank in the portal venous space. Number three, what will be the appearance of most HCCs on the hepatobiliary phase? And number four, what will be the appearance of FNH on the hepatobiliary phase? Contrast agents in imaging are used to visualize a lesion by A, making the background brighter than the lesion or vice versa by making the lesion brighter than the background. So for the liver, we use two kinds of contrast. Uh, first one is it does it highlights the background. And another second special type, which can do two things. First is highlight the background on the first part of the scan. And highlight the lesion itself during a delayed scan. The time which the background is already dark. So this kind which can only highlight the background is called a non-specific contrast. An example of that is Gadovist. While the kind which can uh, highlight the background and later highlight the lesion itself if it contains hepatocytes is called liver-specific contrast. So, there are also other types of liver-specific contrast, but uh, today we're just going to focus on the prima vist. So, we can say that for non-specific contrast, the contrast can just travel the vascular and the extracellular spaces, while in the liver-specific contrast, it can travel the vascular, the extracellular, and the intracellular uh, compartment. Let me just uh, mention that these two, the non-specific contrast and the liver-specific contrast, behave similarly in these dynamic phases. That the special characteristic of Prima Vis is that it is uh, able to check for hepatocyte presence and function during this hepatobiliary phase.